I don't think out of all the wacky and nutty stories that I've covered on this channel that I have ever come across a story with more plot twists than this Corey Harris suspended license saga. This story has more twists and turns than the Intimidator 305. For those that are unaware, which at this point, if you don't know about this story, then I'm convinced that you either live under a rock or you live in outer space or something. Because Corey Harris' suspended license drama is literally all over social media, in the mainstream news now, like it's it's crazy, it's, it's insane. You can't get away from this shit if you tried. But anyway, just to catch you all up to speed, on the situation and the most recent break in all of this, Corey Harris, who went viral a few days ago, was showing up to his suspended license hearing on a Zoom call in front of the judge while he was driving, was pretty much the laughing stock of the internet for being about as dumb as a bag of rocks. Well, he had a recent break in the case when news reporters and news outlets that were kind of looking into this story because it was such a viral hit, uh, they started like investigating and they looked into his suspended license situation and found out that it was allegedly a clerical error and that his license was supposed to be reinstated and have the suspension lifted by the secretary of state's office. Well, once that story hit the fan, I got my ass up right up on here on camera and ate crow and had a nice heaping slice of humble pie and i said my apologies yes that's right i became the bigger man of the internet and decided to apologize for cracking on him but now it looks like that was all for nothing because once again there is yet another break in this never-ending story that is corey harris's life tonight a shocking twist for the man who went viral for driving during a virtual court hearing for a suspended license. Corey Harris showed up in person at a Washtenaw County Courthouse today hoping to set the record straight and put this entire saga behind him. Instead, we're reporting on a brand new chapter. Well, nothing went the way Corey Harris thought it was going to go in court today. The judge started off by slamming Corey Harris, saying he's never even had a valid driver's license. And the afternoon ended with Harris going to jail person that needed to be blamed is the person that he was staring at in the mirror. He didn't do what he should have done. The judge came ready to set the record straight with Corey Harris, who has claimed that he thought the suspension on his driver's license was removed two years ago. That court and its friend of the court did nothing wrong. His driving privileges were unsuspended in 2022. That required Mr. Harris to do something. He didn't do it. The judge said Harris never paid his clearance fees with the court or the secretary of state to lift the suspension. I mean, at this point, like, am, am I in the matrix or something? Like, is Ashton Kutcher about to pop out on me with, with the cameras and tell me I've been punked? Because there's no way this is real. Because honestly, we really shouldn't know anything about the situation in the first place. This thing is so convoluted that I honestly don't know what to believe at this point. Like I'm, I'm blaming everyone. I blame Corey. I blame the friend of the court. I blame the secretary of state's office. I blame the judge. I blame sexy red. I blame Diddy. I blame every damn body. Shit. No, seriously, like this whole thing is ridiculous and stupid. But I will say that the judge is not having it. Like he caved to court that day on the mission. Like he saw all this bullshit going on and he was like, yo, like you not about to embarrass me today. <laughs> he slammed Corey Harris the second he walked into that courtroom, man. He said that Corey never had a driver's license to begin with. Huh? How in the hell is that even possible? Like if you never had a license, how the hell can they suspend it? I'm, I'm just confused. He's never had a Michigan license, ever. We asked Harris yesterday if he ever had a valid driver's license. He claimed he didn't remember. Do you ever recall having one, having a driver's license? I do I have a permit. I, I do that. A, a driver's permit or? I, I believe, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, I can't say yes and I can't say no. What? Yo, I, bro, I, I can't, bro. I fucking can't. Like, what the hell are you talking about? You don't remember having a license? How the hell do you not remember that? Then this fool talking about, I, I, I got a driver's permit. Permit? What are you, 16? Yo, wh what do you mean? You know what? Nah, he did it. He did it. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Whatever they said he did or didn't do. This, this nigga did it. He did that shit. Because that, that right there told me all I needed to know. 
That's crazy, man. Apparently, the reason why his license was still suspended was because he never paid the fees in order to have his driving privileges reinstated. So I guess the privileges to drive in Michigan was kind of in limbo until payment was was made, which is still embarrassing any way you slice it. Uh, because the Pittsville Township police officer and prosecutor said during that October traffic stop, Corey Harris knew what was up. At least twice during this traffic stop, he acknowledged to the officer that he did not have a valid license. Quote, unquote, quote, actually, I don't have a valid license. Close quote. The question was, are you a valid driver? Quote, I am not. There was no error by anybody. It was a failure on the part of Mr. Harris to do certain things. Now, I grant you that sometimes that can be a complicated process, but it was certainly not anybody's fault that that didn't happen other than that wasn't paid. Man, this ship is sinking faster than the Titanic for Mr. Harris over here. But I think that what comes next will really make your head spin. And not only does the judge put an end to the nonsense, but he then unleashes the Kamehameha on this on this man and by pointing out that he had a nine year old bench warrant out for his arrest and that he had to go into custody pretty much immediately. <laughs> Take a look. In the unexpected. He has a warrant for his arrest. Corey Harris was taken into custody for what appears to be a nine year old bench warrant out of Allen Park. So was I shocked? Absolutely. Did I want my client to walk in and then get escorted to the back? Absolutely not. That was not the plan. The shocking thing about it, we're driving with a license suspended that he didn't take care of. It should be something that a lesson for all of us. Handle your business. At the end of the day, handle your business. Man, even the damn lawyer was fed up. Like, yo, man, just handle your business, bruh. <laughs> Even she had a tone on her that was just like, she had it up to here with it. Like, you know? because at the end of the day, she's right. You're a grown ass man, bro. A grown ass man. Hopefully this is the last video that I have to make on the situation. I, I just, I, I just, I honestly don't, don't want to talk about it anymore. Like I, this is literally like my third video on the situation in like a week's time. And honestly, I'm done. Corey Harris, my brother. Handle your business, man. Get that shit handled, please. And next time, before you get on another Zoom hearing, please, 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 for the love of God, get out the car. But anyway, if you made it this far in the video, smack a like on it, all right? It's free. Why not? And don't forget to subscribe for the one time. Peace.